everybody i will be using this pumpkin decor from dollar tree any size of pumpkin everybody you can use for this craft and i will remove the accent or the design and of course the top sheet and i ended up putting hot water there so it will be easier for me to remove the top sheet then i will use this 11 by 14 canvas i bought this from walmart and i will just save the frame the wooden frame for my next craft and i will trace this pumpkin onto the canvas and i see to it i got the exact uh size so the uh, pencil everybody i traced it actually the pumpkin just a little inward so i will have the exact size it's difficult to sand this because this is canvas so now i'm going to cut it and i will set it aside so i will be using scrapbook paper for this craft and you can see the bottom of the pumpkin any design you like any wood you like just put it on the bottom or at the edge of the scrapbook paper so it will be easier to fold it and you can see on the video how i folded it and i will poke a hole right at the center and for the hole there i will uh, just put a mark so you can see already the mark there on the canvas so it will be easier for me to put the line just like that as shown on the video so this time i will start to just uh, cut this using a cutter just the middle part not the whole thing because i am going to paint it after i already cut the center i will paint it with a waverly ivory i will apply one coat and the reason why I'm doing that because I will put the napkin. Actually, my husband chose the napkin for me because he loves bees. It has small bee designs. I will remove the ply up attached to the, uh, this napkin using a piece of tape. So now I will apply Mod Podge onto there. I just apply one coat evenly. So there will be no wrinkles then i will start to just put this slowly using a fan brush i just uh, put it on the canvas so i'm very careful there not to have any wrinkle and as you can see it doesn't have wrinkle and then i just uh, dried it and to smooth the napkin i use the parchment paper I use, of course, my hands to do that also to smooth the napkin. And I will start to cut the napkin. I don't have to worry about the excess napkin because once I'm going to glue this onto the... Uh, you can see the Pueblo by Folk Art. I'm going to paint the back of it. So this is optional, everybody. So like I said, I don't have to worry if there is a little of the excess napkin because once I glue this onto the pumpkin, I can just sand it. So now I am putting the lines there. And to find the center of that, I just fold a little bit and draw a line there, just like that. Now I will start to just uh, cut the lines there, but just in the middle. It's not going to be the whole thing because I will cut it with a pair of scissors. And I will start to cut it. So it's really all up to you, everybody, how many cuts you're going to have, how many folds you're going to have. I'm just comfortable using uh, doing this my own way. So I cut it using the pair of scissors. It's all up to you. How big is your fold? It's really all up to you. So I will be using the Jolie finishing wax because I'm really into distress craft. So I just make it look dirty. And now I applied this uh, Mod Podge onto the back of this.
onto the nap uh, onto the pumpkin and put this rice paper. If you want to know how uh, where I got this from, I will put the link onto the comment section and just click on it. Then this time I just sanded the sides and to smooth the rice paper, I use again the parchment paper and smooth it with my fingers. Now I am putting the glue onto there. This is the pumpkin, everybody, from Dollar Tree. And I will put this uh, canvas. I think my husband had got the right choice, everybody. I love the napkin. It has small B designs. Now, this is what I meant, the excess napkin. It's time for me to sand it. And once I already sanded it, to cover this later, you will see I will put some twine. And I am folding now this canvas. So it doesn't have to be the 11 by 14 canvas, everybody. I saw a lot of uh, busted canvases uh, use the same uh, shape or canvas the rectangle one uh, you can use any any forms of your choice so I'm just giving you an idea everybody of how I made this I will call this the exploding pumpkin <laughs> exploding pumpkin or busted pumpkin so it's all up to you what shape or form you're gonna you can even use a star you can use a small pumpkin any form um, in the in Dollar Tree, you can make it just like this. Then after this, I am going to cover the handle with the twine to serve as the, uh, of course, the, the stem. So it's really forming now. I love how it looks just to give you an idea, everybody, of how I made this exploding pumpkin. I put a little of this, uh, Spanish moss from Michael's. I put some uh, fall leaves, artificial. And this is optional, whatever, however you can make your own design, it's all up to you. I'm just giving you an idea that it's not only the rectangle kind of uh, canvas that you can make uh, exploding or busted canvas. This is just to give you an idea, any shapes or forms. You can even use burlap cloth instead of the canvas. So I just put small bees there. And this time I have the cinnamon sticks. So I can put birds because of the design of the rice paper. So if you like this idea, everybody, please go to my main page and please click the like and please give me a follow. So you will be notified when I go live. So you can see already the pumpkin, the twine there, the small bees and the birdhouse on the back is really very neat it's so pretty i just love this i hope you love watching this video everybody and you love this craft you will be updated of my future craft and uh future reels and be notified when i go live when you click the follow please go to my main page so that's where the design of the napkin where my husband really loves it so much he chose it so i Really love the idea that my husband participated uh, uh, to make this kind of craft. So that's the pretty craft, everybody. Another idea for you. Hope you're going to make your own and you love your, watching this video and you love this craft. Thank you all so much, everybody. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you again. Till next time.